Hey guys, Sports Game Fever here, back again. We're going to do uh, episode 2 of our uh, Atlanta Braves series. So we're going to enter a uh, series with the, the Milwaukee Brewers. we got a 2-5 and five record, which isn't too good for us. Hopefully uh, going to improve that here. I missed the home opener accident and they simmed over it, but this is, this is the uh, second home game we have here. And uh, let's get started. We got a good pitcher in there, Jurgens, I believe is how you pronounce it. And uh, right off the bat, uh, McGratton catches um, one of the uh, Brewers stealing there. And um, a nice, a perfect throw down to get, uh, to get him there. And uh, a nice tag, too, there by Ugla. Um, I got the out. So there's a look at uh, my starting lineup here for the Braves. Uh, some of the numbers, eh, not too good, but here's McGratton, um, who's going to get a walk here to start the uh, start the game for the Braves. Uh, Wolf, the uh, starting pitcher for them, but nothing comes of it, so we go right to the third here. And there's a uh, seemingly a ground out. Whoops, that's unlike Chipper Jones. He doesn't usually get those errors there, and uh, that sails over the head of the uh, first baseman uh, and uh, will go down as an error. Now, here's a hit. And that error is going to come back to bite them as, oh no, wait, it's tagged out the home. Great heads up play by Freeman, the first baseman, to throw it home there. And uh, that will save a run. So here's a strong outing by the pitcher Jurgens. You can see not one, not two, not three, even more than what I'm showing here. I'm only showing five strikeouts, but he does an amazing game. And uh, Atlanta can't get their offense going there as... Uh, Ah, uh, that's just a steal there. What a diving play. And, um, <laughs> oh, there's a shot up the middle. And, uh, Virgin's running into some trouble here now. They're going to go out to come down and, uh, just for a mountain visit, not bringing anybody in from the bullpen yet. There's a sacrifice bunt. And, uh, they'll get the out at first. Um, so now one out, two men in scoring position. It's deep, it's back, it's going to stay in the ballpark. But, uh, He's going to be able to get tag up and uh, get home here on the play. And uh, unfortunately, that will bring in Fla O'Flaherty uh, into the game, and he'll get the uh, Braves out of the inning. So 2 nothing here, Brit, uh, Milwaukee. And there's a deep shot. It's way back, but it's not gone. That would have tied it up there. A two-run shot would have, but nope. And there's one over the second baseman's head. The outfielder can't get it. That's going to score a run. That's a uh, RBI double. The man scores all the way from first, uh, showing some nice speed in order to get home there. Now that's going to bring in the uh, relief pitcher for the Brewers. And it's Zach Braddock who's going to come in here, his uh, third appearance, I believe. And we're going to send in the pinch runner out at second um, for some more speed, hopefully getting that guy home. There's a walk. And here comes the uh, pitch hitter, David Ross, here for the uh, pitcher. And he's going to get it through. And here, rounding third, he's coming home. And it's out at the plate. That would have tied the ball game. Here in comes Chris Meldon to um, take over on the mound. And there's a hit. It's back. It's going to be off the wall. That's Braun there, Ryan Braun. And, uh, you know, he can do that but it won't lead to anything. And there's a deep fly for the Braves in the bottom of the eighth. No, it does not go over the fence. And uh, there's another deep drive late in the eighth, but it's going to be caught out there. So just short of a couple home runs there in the eighth. Now bottom of the ninth, there's a grounder. It's going to be thrown over. Chipper Jones outruns the, uh, the uh, ground up. And there's a steal. I believe that was Chipper Jones anyway, but... Uh, there's a steal. Now get him into scoring position. Now we got another pinch hitter, Martin Prado. He's had the day off, but uh, he's gonna get in there to uh, do some work. Maybe we're gonna show this pitch sequence: a strike, then a ball, a foul off, and ooh, he caught him swinging up, and uh, that's gonna do it. The Brewers are gonna wrap up this one and uh, win it at two to nothing. Poor offense for the Braves, not able to score a run. And uh, so after that, we're going to make some training. We're putting our uh, our closer, Craig Kimbrell, on the uh, training block, and we're going to try to make a trade for Dustin Petroya of the Red Sox and some th more throw-ins and Carl Crawford and then a throw-in. 
and we're going to see they're going to reject that. We're trying to get, uh, get a good second baseman, even a left uh, a left fielder, and we're going to edit the trade a bit, and we're going to show um, show them another deal, and we're going to see that that is rejected as well. So we weren't able to get the trades we wanted, but after some simming, we actually have a decent record now. We got a winning record, and we're just one behind in the race for our division. And so there's a look at our defense. Still no real changes. No changes, but um, still, I've, I guess I haven't really shown this in a video yet, so I wanted to. Um, and Miner, Mike Miner is going to uh, get the ball on the mound here, and he's going to have a great day out there. The very first inning, he's showing he can do some fielding, and uh, he's going to throw the man out at first to end the inning. There's Karstens, the uh, Pirates pitcher, and this is a matchup that's going to go on all day with Brian McCann. Ninth in the National League with his average of 350, and um, nothing going for him there. But uh, we'll check back in on that matchup later. Here is a, a flyout, and this is just showing what Miner was able to do all day. Not necessarily getting strikeouts, but getting players to uh, pop up and hit and uh, make them ground out, whatever. Just doing whatever he needs to to get the outs, and uh, that's what you're looking for from your pitcher. Uh, that's all he really needed to do there. Um, so, top of the second, there's a hit. And one of the few, I think he only gave up, well, I don't know, it might have not been few, but um, there's a, a rare hit, I guess you could say, um, off of a uh, minor. And he starts to run into some trouble, but they're going to get the out at first to get them out of the inning. Uh, minor gets him to ground out. <clears throat> and Tejada making the throw from shortstop, and he's looking pretty good out there in the field. There's Ugla. All right, this guy isn't usually a power hitter, but boom, off the bat, it's going deep. Oh, it's caught. You know, it, it was going deep. He usually doesn't hit it that deep for him. But look at this. Here he goes. That one's gone for Ugla. And um, a nice one there for Ugla, and that's a home run. There's some power all of a sudden out of him. And a Pirates coach not liking it, and our manager, of course, liking it. Um, and there's a replay of that 431 feet. Not bad, not bad at all for Ugla, who's the uh, second in the lineup, and he's showing why. So here's a big night for Freeman, our first baseman. Not necessarily home runs, but look at that. Hit there, that's a single. That'll go, oh no, it looks like it's going to ground up, but no, it is a single. He runs it out, and then here comes another single off the bat of Freeman, and that ends up actually scoring an RB. No, it doesn't, I'm sorry. And then here we go. Some uh, late innings magic here. That's a that's a uh, they're gonna tag up and the runner will score from third. Um, now here we go. That's deep. Ooh, the diving play doesn't work. Freeman's gonna score from first. There's another runner on third who scored, and that's going to uh, give the Braves a huge lead. They're gonna go to the bullpen after that. It's gonna be Jason Greeley coming out here against Chipper Jones. But first, oops. There's a miscue. He tries to pick off the runner at second, but uh, he'll end up be, he'll end up being able to advance to uh, third on the uh, error. And then Chipper Jones is going to ground out. You think? No, he will run out the uh, play there and uh, score a run. So five nothing. And there's a deep drive. It's back, but no, just short of the fence there. They'll finally get out of the inning on Tejada's uh, fly out. And Miner, that's his line score for the game. He did good. He's got he got pulled out, but there's a steal here. Atlanta back on to the um, on the offensive after one two three inning from Miner, and then he would get pulled in the next inning. But there's a big hit, and that's going to drop in for a ground rule double. So that's going to score another run, and the Braves just running away from this with this game. And uh, here we go. There's McGrath. He's going to get a single up the middle, and that'll be a good insurance run. So he wasn't. He was pretty much silenced. In this uh, matchup, but uh, he he did he did get the RB, the one RBI and uh, didn't get shut out completely. And that's Ray back, but it's caught in the warning track, and so that'll end the inning as well. So here the reliever here coming in, and uh, the Braves get the win. I believe the final score was seven nothing, but a great game for them, and they're right back on track. Hopefully, going to be making some trades. Hopefully, going to be making uh, some free agent pickups and just playing a couple more games. I hope you guys enjoy this series. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, whatever you want to do, but let me know what you think of the series. Nonetheless, uh, there's a look at uh, Mike Miner 
your player of the game. Um, and you're going to see just uh, how great he was with his pitching. And, um, yeah, it was just, yeah, let me know how, what you guys think of the series. I'll be uh, playing some more games next time. See you guys.